The race course at Kailani awaits the kiters for the last day of the 2012 World Championship. Two races for each fleet. In each fleet, the top 10 athletes of the leaderboard following yesterday's results. The heat is on. The scene is slightly different today in this stunning bay of southern Italy. The sky is cloudy with medium winds coming from the north. But while waiting for the wind to make its presence felt, these riders are painstakingly preparing their boards. Or they try to relax and concentrate on their tactics for today's races. But let's hear what John Heineken, leader at the men's fleet, has to say about his performance so far. So yesterday we were splitting the gold, silver and bronze fleet, so the top 52 sailed together and that was exciting because we finally got to line up with all the top guys on one course um, and once again I, I sailed really well, I've just been able to stay clean, get off the line and sail my own race and uh, I won all four races so I'm feeling really happy about that, I mean it's, it's, it's cool to come into a fleet that solid and, and just perform consistently, um, although today I'm a little bit disheartened because we have to just basically throw all those scores away and start over today with just carrying over position into a, a medal round where we do two races. Each kiter's position from yesterday counts as one race and the champion will be decided not just from how well they did today but from the overall sum when today's and yesterday's results are put together. So everything remains open and the pressure is high. It's then time for the races to begin. In the final race of the women's fleet, it was again Erica Heineken that had the best start. With the offshore Mistral wind gusting between 5 and 20 knots, getting off the start clean proved to be a challenge. But Erica Heineken was untroubled. She kept that lead of hers and rounded first at the gate, clear ahead from the others. Finally, she managed to maintain her lead until the end and was now the 2012 world champion. She has every right to be overjoyed. Behind her in second place, we find Steph Bridge, who had managed to significantly close the gap separating them. Straight after, it was time for the second race of the men's fleet to begin. This time, the majority of the fleet started on starboard tack, and Brian Lake was the first rider on windward. But Americans Heineken was the first one back at the bottom gate. His was a stunning performance so far. He seems to be in absolute control of this race. He was followed by Adam Koch in second place, whose goal was now to keep this position and go for the silver medal at the end of the race. And it wasn't too long before Heineken could officially celebrate his victory. Combined with yesterday's results, finishing in first place meant he's now world champion for 2012. And Koch deservedly won the silver medal finishing right behind Heineken in a spectacular way. But the surprise result of this final day in Kaidari belongs to Francis Julian Kerner, who managed through sheer grit and determination to move from sixth to third place. It's the second world title for Heineken too. He put on a sterling performance again this year, but now it's time to celebrate. Let's have a quick look at the final result. Heineken is of course in first place, followed by Kuch, who managed to move a spot and end up in second place, with the bronze medal going to Kerner. When it comes down to the women, Erica Heineken's consistent performance clearly put her ahead from the other girls overall. But today, she has only one less point than Bridge, who kept the lead in the master category. An excellent event like this one that unfolded in Kailani these past four days is only complete when a beautifully organized award ceremony recognizes not just the first three, but all riders who competed. In the end, the applause is for everyone's efforts. Following the success of this year's championship in Italy, spectators and kiters alike, they're going home excited to have been here and counting the days until next year's event.